Hey guys, so today is going to be a different type of video for me. I am going to do a video game video and I do not have the proper equipment uh, software to actually do um, the transferring of video game footage to, you know, my uh, computer. So I'm, I just have my camera pointed at my TV screen. I hope it doesn't look too bad. But um, I'm actually sick and I just have had no energy to really like get ready or anything to do a video. So I figured I would just do this um, and then you can just hear me talk and I just want to show you guys around my island in Animal Crossing. I love Animal Crossing. I've been playing um, shortly after this one came out, the New Horizons. A friend of mine had told me about it and I was like, oh, I'll try it out because I'd, I'd never played it before in the past, um, the older versions. And I like it a lot. So basically, if you don't know what Animal Crossing is, you're on a island that's basically deserted and you build up the island and, you know, decorate it, make it the way you want, build things. And then you get villagers and um, there are different animals to come live on your island. And yeah, it's basically about it. It's pretty simple, but it's really, I don't know, fun and relaxing to play. So I figured I would show you around my island. So this outfit I'm wearing is actually a dress that one of my friends made for me. And uh, it's like a Halloween-y type dress and some horns. Um, so recently they um, have come out with a bunch of... Um, you know, in October Halloween stuff. It was all about the Halloween. So I have a lot of Halloween decor out right now that I'm probably going to keep up year round, but it might take it down in December around Christmas time to do uh, more Christmas decorations. You know what I mean? So this is my airport. You get off and I have planted recently some holly bushes for Christmas time here. And then, obviously, the first thing you see when you get off, off the airport is the Stonehenge item here that I kind of wanted to make the focal point of my island just because I think it's cool. And I vis visited Stonehenge two years ago, and I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. So you just walk through here. On my island, I just put, like, random turtles everywhere. I don't know. It just became, like, a joke type of thing. Um, and, I, you know, I built, like, these waterfalls and, like, the hills here on the side. I have the pumpkin lanterns and some Halloween pumpkin fencing here. And this takes you to the town hall. I put some more, I just planted some more holly bushes here, just getting ready for uh, Christmas time. And then we have our town hall. It's the basic town hall. You go in and it's got um, the people working there and the villagers working there and then um, the ATM machine inside there. I'm not gonna go over every detail, but just kind of like the things that I put out. My like English style telephone booth, popcorn machine, ice machine, my flag that you can see right here that I did myself. I'm not very good with pixel art. So I did a couple things on my island myself, like I decorated with pixel art, but a lot of the stuff I just got offline and used other people's codes um, to use for my island. A piano. Oops, I didn't mean to move it. <laughs> Halloween candy. We'll come back down here and I'll show you the, the houses that are out front here. So this is a new villager I got. I had somebody different before and I swapped her out for this villager. Her name is Marcy and if I can see her walking around I'll point her out but she's a kangaroo. She's pink and she has like a a little baby in her pouch with her. So I like to do every villager's yards like nicely. I don't know, just give them like a flower bed and like a nice little area like to sit down or something. And like I said, they came out with new stuff like in October, November. So this like mushroom, a lot of stuff is mushrooms for our November. So like this little mushroom stool here. And then the beach area down here, I kind of have like toys and things for, it's supposed to be like a little kid play area and it's even now more convenient since um, 
she has a little baby here, so I just figured, you know, if a baby can come down and play with these toys down here. But as you can see, see there's like mushrooms have sprouted in different places. We'll go this way, just have like a little flower garden and this little barrel, wheelbarrow here with flowers in it. Another Halloween thing. And the trees are changing color, so like they're the fall reds and orange and yellows. This is the Able Sisters clothing shop. This is where you like pick out what clothing you want to buy. You can buy different things. You can decorate your, make your own clothing or you can buy them pre-made from the store. That was my um, guest today was Pirate Gulliver. Come down to my beach. I have like this little beachy area where you can just chill. My organ. I just try to really do a lot with like the flowers and bushes and things to kind of make like a nice layout, um, make the colors go together. This is, oh my god, what's her name? <laughs> Judy, I forgot her name. Um, she's, she's kind of new too. I thought she was cute with like the stars in her eyes. She's funny. Um, I wish you could see inside of her house. Uh, her house is really cute. It has like stars on the wall, like star garland and um, almost like pastel -y colored stuff. So like I did her front area like cutesy pink and she has like a little sitting area with like tea. Also this fall, the fall leaves are coming down so you can catch the fall leaves in your net and use those for DIY projects. This here is Roll Tells. He was one of my first uh, of the two villagers that came to my home, my um, island, I'm sorry. Um, he's a penguin, he's super cute, but his house is awful because uh, when your new villager, I mean your first, I'm sorry, <laughs> your first villagers that come, uh, their houses can't be decorated that nicely. They're kind of just really basic, but whereas where I, if I have gotten him later on, then uh, he would have like a really cool house inside with like probably like ice and stuff because he's a penguin. Okay, so this is Meringue. She's thinking. Let's see what she's thinking. No, I don't want a portable radio. Sometimes they try to pawn off their <laughs> stuff on you. Oh. Just more junk to collect. No, thank you. All right. All right, let's get going. It's another little area to lay down and chill on the beach. Got my coconut drink right there. Workbench. See the another turtle here. Little uh, picnic area underneath the tree. My fountain. I kind of wanted to make it in the middle of water. I thought it would be like a cool idea. More pumpkins. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo. This area right here I really enjoyed making. It's just kind of like a raised like patio library. I guess like a, kind of like a library that I did. Um, and my friend made me the uh, Slytherin and... Oh, why does that look weird? Oh no, that's fine. It looks right. <laughs> the way the angle I had it at it looked weird. Um, Ravenclaw um, decor on the side. Um, I used to... Oh, I, I need to move this book. Used to be able to get in there and sit. Oh, there you go. I can do it still. Sit here and do some typing. Sit here, read the book. Let's see what's cooking. Pizza. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to make this like almost like a like a library. So the flooring here, this like the flooring here, I use somebody else's code online. But this stone path here, I actually made myself with um, pixel art. My little gnome garden. More Halloween stuff. 
This is like the Halloween arch. You can make it all different colors. I think green and white. Another Oregon. I have three of these on my island. I just think they're really cute. I like them. And then if you go over the bridge, this is my Nook store where you can buy different items and goods for your home. Their open sign. This is my museum. So I have like the fake David statue and then I forget what this one is called here. That's a fake also. I think, I think that one's a fake. Um, this area I kind of did newly with the waterfalls and stuff and I kind of stacked up some things on top of the hills. My secret little area with my um, pirate stuff that you get from Pirate Gulliver. Eventually I'm going to do over the back and sides of my Nook store and do a Christmas theme when it's December. This was just like a cute little like hangout fall pumpkin patch area. I love the fall stuff and like the acorns and the pine cones and the leaves and the mushrooms and stuff. That's one of my favorites so far. This is Savannah's house. My friend gave me uh, an amiibo card so I could get her because I wanted a zebra for my island. Let's go into her house. Oh, she turned this around. She had like the pumpkin candy set here. It was facing the other way where you could see the jack-o'-lantern face. And then there used to be here, she had like another like jack-o'-lantern lantern thing, but she moved it. I just recently did this area over, just like like put this tree here. I think it's called like nature's bounty tree. That was a DIY. This is my camping area. I kind of just did something small and tucked away. So when new campers come. Up here is Meringue. She's the pink rhino that we saw. This is her house. I love this little area that I made. That was cute. And her little patio area. I need to do something with her woods. I don't know if I want to. Maybe just leave it like really scraggly looking woods or just do something over there eventually. I'm not really sure. And then I also made the, this little fall area with more pumpkins and a scarecrow. And this is new too. This little chill area. These mushroom lamps you can get and you can make and they make different colors. There's like yellow, like a red and white spotted one, a blue one, um, green. I don't remember. This area is one of my favorites here. It's my like moon forest, I guess you want to call it. And it has like the two stars on the side. Those two panels that are the stained glass on the left and right, that's what somebody that was that was somebody else's design that I used because I can't do stuff like that. Also this flooring here, this path that was somebody else's design I got offline. I just love this area. Just my random sphinx over here. I haven't decided what to do with it really. Up here is Eugene's house. He's a koala bear. So I kind of put him like where like the bamboo stuff is. Made this little area here. I like to do like little things with paths and stuff. So yeah, he has this like hole area up here is his with the bamboo trees. Let me come down. This is the one that has the um, Marcy that has a little baby kangaroo. <laughs> I 
don't know what she's talking about. And then this is my florist over here with all the new mushroom stuff that I put out. And I put any uh, models I get made of like the insects, I put the insect models in here. And you can see there's like the white mushroom lamps, and more insects, and pumpkins, more mushroom, mushroom table. I just like the mushroom stuff, the fall stuff. Pumpkin table with candy. Ooh, that guy looks big. Oh, that bug looks huge. I think I have him already. I think it was like a praying mantis. And I want to do like mostly in the back here all the purple mum flowers. This area is kind of bare. I haven't really done anything with it right here. I, gotta, I just dropped some leaves and mushrooms over here just because I have no room for stuff. Okay, this is Eugene who lives up back there with the um, bamboo and I gave him a vampire costume. <laughs> I don't even know what he said. Also, yeah, it's your style. I think he said some of a top hat. Oh, okay. I actually wanted him to keep it, but whatever. <laughs> yes, he calls me Pumpkin. I like him though. He reminds me of he looks like Elvis. This is my cemetery that I made. With all like tombstones and stuff. And I want all the black flowers in here and candles. There's a pond, waterfall, this is my pumpkin patch, like big pumpkin patch. And this is my house here, up here. But I want to show you like when you come up the stairs. So you come up the, the stairs to my home and I made this, the Midnight Manor sign here and there's the pumpkin patch on the right and the left like the little pumpkins the arch the moon chair yeah, this was like one of my favorites i wanted this thing so bad like i was waiting and waiting to get the diy for this thing another organ the pumpkin coach that you got on halloween and this pond here is a heart-shaped pond that i actually didn't make myself it was here when i moved into the island so I kind of want to just use it as the focal point for my house. Let me go up the stairs here. Welcome. I have my spiderweb door plate. And I'll show you the inside of my house. So this is my haunted mansion room. The wallpaper I got from somebody offline. I used their code, but everything else I decorated myself. Try to match it as much aesthetically to the actual Haunted Mansion. Oh, this dress somebody made, the Haunted Mansion dress. I love this organ. This came with like the wedding stuff when they had the wedding things going on. It says tomb sweet tomb. There's some tombstones in here. So yeah, I'm really proud of this room. I just made it not too long ago. All right, then we're gonna go off to the right and this room was like a kind of like a joke and you will see why. I had a ton of teddy bears accumulating so I made it into like a teddy bear party, I guess you want to say, or hangout, teddy bear, hangout. Um, this used to be my kitchen, but then I got tired of it, so I wanted to do something different. I really like that plaid one in the back on the left. That was like one of my favorites and kind of gave me the idea to make this room. So it has like the Halloween wallpaper that you got during Halloween time. A couple other stuffed animals is the Halloween placemats with the uh, dish settings. And on the wall, I put the portraits that my villagers gave me of themselves. So each each villager will give you a portrait of themselves at some point. So I only have three for right now. And then just have some other artwork. 
and stuff on my wall. Back here is my sewing room. This was one of the first rooms that I made. And I've kept it and I haven't changed it, but I think eventually I'm gonna do something different with it. Maybe for Christmas. It's mostly like sewing stuff and clothing. I kinda of wanted it to look like a little bit like old fashioned, 1800s looking. Nothing too exciting. Next we'll go over here to my bathroom. This room I really like how it came out. I just want it to be like kind of chill in here. Like with some candles and quiet music. There's like, you know, gold accents in here. Next I'll do my basement. Okay, I had an idea for this from when I saw that you captured jellyfish. I kind of wanted to make it an underwater, jellyfishy, but also like outer spacey, <laughs> galaxy type room. And use the DIYs for like the mermaid stuff that came out. So this is like all mermaid furniture. And I have all my jellyfish. More mermaid stuff. My fishies. My little octopus or squid or whatever that thing is. I'm really happy with the way this came out. I think it looks really cool with all the jellyfish in the background. And last but not least, my bedroom which is in the attic. I have like the Jack pumpkin head picture on the wall, my gothic mirror, a ring, my like engagement ring, <laughs> my fantasy engagement ring. No, I don't want it. Uh, I'll just lay down. I like this black rose bed. You can customize it in different colors. Got my guitar. Sorry, my camera cut out. I don't know what's wrong with it. This is actually a filler clip that I had to redo because I've noticed a whole section was missing. So anyways, this is my room, uh, my guitar, my effects board and amp, my lava lamp. And then I just have like pictures and posters on the wall of different villagers. This mouse is Samson. I used to have him, but I exchanged him for somebody else. And yeah. I like my room. I like the cloud flooring. It looks like all like mystical and stuff. All right, so now we're back outside again. So this might look different, be, like the outside, because it's a different time of day. Like I said, this is an inserted clip that I'm filming after the fact to put in the middle here. So I was headed to Eunice's house. Um, I have this little table with a cupcake. This is her outdoor area. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this with the teddy bear, the giant teddy bear and the pink flowers. I kind of had no place to put the teddy bear because it doesn't fit inside the house. It's too big. So I thought it was kind of funny out there. So this is Eunice's house. I do not like her house because it's a freaking laundromat and um, you only can replace her items, like give her things to replace like the washing machines and stuff, like only certain things. Like I had to give her this stupid sink. Um, that was like one of the things that would replace a washing machine. Cause you can't just give her any old item or piece of furniture you want. It's like specific things. Um, so where she has this workbench here, um, I gave her like this little cute leaf stool that she puts out. And then I think that she has like a little waste basket over there too. Um, so I'm gonna keep trying to Get her room to look better and better. This little sewing kit I gave to her. 
But I like her a lot. She's one of my favorite characters. Um, she's like a little, like, I don't know. She reminds me of like a little old lady, like, country-ish ram. She's funny. Aww. And this is Alfonso's house. He's an alligator. He's my lazy villager. He's funny. He likes snacks. That's his favorite thing is snacks. What's he doing? Oh. Mmm, Coco. I'm gonna say Coco. Ooh, Coco. He loves to eat. <laughs> so he has like a basic Rome account. It has like a Native American feel to it with like the bed and the couch and stuff. His room is, his house is not too bad. So this is his area outside. This is Vic. He's my bull. Um, this is Maddie. This is Vic's house over here. It's kind of like a pirate ship inside. It's a little bit, like kind of piratey inside, but he's got some other random stuff that I gave him, like um, musical, like an effects board and stuff. And I kind of did like a beachy thing for his house. It's like a t shell table. And like a shell lamp. Oh, he took his thing off his door. I gave him a shell wreath. That's the second time I've given it to him. And he took it down. It's really aggravating. Um, so this is the dog's house, Maddie's house. Um, her, She's got like some bamboo stuff herself. And like this little pool thingy majiggy. Another turtle. Let's walk down the beach. So... When I said the wedding stuff, like the organ in the house was like part of a wedding set. So this is more of the wedding stuff. It's like the benches and the church and wedding chairs and a wedding arch to get married and the wedding cake and stuff. So this is my wedding area because I wanted to have a wedding area, but I didn't really have any place to put it. So I figured I'd put it outside. And there's a harp over there too. Yeah, so this is my little outdoor wedding area if anybody wants to get married on the beach. This is just like a little chill area here. I think it's so funny. Another turtle, my shell bed. I can lay down in it. Can I? I don't know. It won't work. I think the candles are in the way. I don't, oh, there we go. Take a rest next to the beach. I think that is about it for my island. Um, <laughs> just down here I have a lot of junk and you'll see what I mean. This is like, I have no storage left in my house so I've dumped a bunch of stuff on the beach and these are just random flowers that like if anybody wants them, I let people come to my island and come take them. Our, the storage is supposed to be updated tomorrow. So I should have a ton more storage so I can put my stuff away and get it off the beach. This is my little dock area here. More pumpkins. This little thing was cool that I thought that I made in the, in the river. Now we're back to the front of the island. I think that's it. We didn't see Roll the penguin, which I wish he was around so you guys could see him. I don't know where he is. He's probably hiding somewhere. He's having fun somewhere else. Oh. No, you can't have it. No thanks. Sorry. Oh, 
Yeah, this is just the side of the beach. I think that's it. I think I showed you guys everything that I have. So yeah. Hope you guys like this little island tour. Um, if you have any questions of things that I made, um, I'll try to answer them for you. If you can give me any tips or ideas that you have for our, your island or cool things that you did if you play Animal Crossing, let me know. I, I love, I play, I literally play every day, like every single day I play this game just to see what's going on. So, all right, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay, hold on. Stay dark, my friends. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.